Hi everyone. Um, a bit of a disaster actually. I went to edit my month's worth of videos um, on Sunday. It's currently Wednesday now, but I went to edit my videos on Sunday and found that three quarters of them somehow have been recorded in slow-mo. So it serves me right for not checking them as I've been doing them. <laughs> I have really no idea why they've... Um, oh, the door's just come in. Um, no idea why they've uh, recorded in slow-mo. I've got the dog here, so uh, I don't know what she's coming for. Hello. Ooh. I can uh, show you as she's, uh, she's gone. Oh, no, there she goes. You just see her tail go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a quick look through the videos that I have got, um, see what footage I can salvage, and I'm also going to re-record. So <laughs> hence why I'm in here uh, talking to you now. Um, I'm going to go through the greenhouses again, show you what I've been up to, what I'm doing, uh, what's coming up and what's not. So uh, without further ado, so one of the first jobs I'm going to do this evening, um, I've just got home from work and it's now quarter to seven. So the clocks went forward at the weekend um, and uh, it's now a lot lighter a lot later on. So you take advantage of it. So I'm going to be pricking out or potting up some tomato seedlings. So this is a variety called Sun Chocolat. I'm not quite sure what that, I can't remember what they are. I think they're a dark tomato. So if I have a look in my trusty book. Yes, they're a sort of a darkish tomato. So if I show you, where are you? There you go. There's sort of a, there's sort of a deep, deep red, sort of verging on brown. So that'll be interesting to see how they come out. So I've got to a few of those. So I'm gonna pop those up now. Um, and I've got a few more. I did a count up a couple of days ago and I think I've got around 130 tomato plants currently potted up and that doesn't include the ones that are still in seed trays. So I've got a seed tray here. I have a seed tray down here. I have half a seed tray here. And I think I've got a couple of seed trays in the house still. So we've got to have a lot of tomatoes. The idea of that is to sell on our stall and through the website and on various plant sales. So um, yeah, I don't think we'll we'll be short of them, and I don't think, but I, you know, we may well run out. We shall see. So I'm going to carry on potting these up, and then uh, we will go from there. So there's another 10 Sun Chocola and there's 11 Tigrella there. So that's 21 tomato plants. It, my math's good. Um, so I'm going to transplant, they will transplant, wheel them down to the other greenhouse where they can uh, grow on for a bit before they're put out to sell. So here's the greenhouse where we're germinating and uh, growing stuff on. So as you can see, we have got plenty in here at the moment. So we've got tomato plants. So these are the ones I've just literally uh, potted up. There's a few more here, some lettuce plants, got some celery and celeriac seed, seeds going. Uh, there's lettuce. We've got kale, lettuce, tomatoes, cabbage, onions, shallots. All oh, the shallots have all suddenly sprouted. They were a couple of days ago, some of these shallots weren't um, all sprouting, so uh, they're doing quite nicely now. So they'll be ready to go out into the garden soon. Uh, sprouts, onions, what else we got here? Pea, there's always a couple of pea shoots coming up. Good, good. Um, we've got broccoli, radish. These need to go out into the, uh, the garden. I'll do that, uh, I'm not quite sure when, but soon, hopefully. Broad beans, more tomatoes. Uh, my tomato stack obviously is not ideal because some of them are in the dark, but uh, for now they they'll be okay for a couple of days. Um, what else we got? Broad beans, tomato, not tomatoes, tomatoes on the brain. Onions. We've got broccoli, peas. So yeah, it's all doing uh, quite nicely. So it's filling up, but plenty more to uh, pot out. So I've come down to the asparagus bed. This is right at the bottom of the veggie patch. 
Uh, we put this in last year. Yeah, last year I think it was. And obviously they were year old crowns, so two years last year, it'll be three years this year. Um, so we'll leave them for another year and uh, harvest them properly next year. But look what I've just found. Asparagus coming up. Can't believe it. Already coming up. Amazing, amazing what a bit of warm weather will do. So what I'm gonna do this year, I'm gonna harvest a couple of spears just see what it tastes like, because I uh, can't resist. Um, but yeah, really chuffed that these are coming up already. Brilliant. I'm back in the shed. Um, it's now all oh, 20 past seven. It's now starting to get dark, so I'm gonna be heading in shortly. Then it's getting a bit too dark to film. Um, I would like to prick out a couple more things, but I think I'm gonna leave it for tonight and uh, crack on my car at the weekend because I'm camping with the scouts, but maybe uh, next week it's the Easter holiday, so I've got no scouts next week, um, although Play rehearsals are well underway for the village play and Jacob still has his bits and pieces to do. So it's still busy, um, but you know, I get home from work, even to get out here for an hour, it makes a massive, massive difference. So um, yeah, I think I'm gonna call it an evening and uh, crack on with a beer. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, it's now Easter Saturday. It's been a while since I did a little bit of filming. I've had a bit of a mishap with the uh, the footage, but uh, like, well, I might have captured it, but what I'm basically gonna do now, from now on, is to put out a video at least once a month, or try and put one in once a month. Um, so uh, it's all less pressure on uh, to get the sort of stuff filmed. Um, it's, like I say, it's Easter Saturday. It's, uh, it's quite cloudy. It's not overly cold though. Uh, so it's an ideal time to uh, get on in the garden. I've done a couple of bits. We've, uh, I've started putting the polytunnel together that I bought uh, a few weeks ago. Um, Sam's in the fruit cage giving it a good old weed because it is absolutely full of weed. Plenty of stuff going on in the greenhouse. Uh, we've popped some stuff out on the plant stall. So uh, I'll get you, uh, you guys showing you all that. So one of the things we are doing this weekend is we're camping in the garden. So we have a little area down the bottom of the garden here, which we call our festival area. Uh, we've got a little fire pit, some chairs, um, and the tent. So we sort of tend to sit around the fire, uh, play games and, and just generally just chat. And then the tent is here. So uh, we camp in there. So we do that fairly regularly. It's quite good fun. We all enjoy it. So uh, just to kind of get a little bit of a break so just coming up round into the market garden, you just see Sam there taking the rubbish to uh, the uh, compost area. So not much has changed really in here over the last few weeks. Uh, the kale, the kale, the uh, purple sprouting broccoli is coming on nicely under there. The cabbages are coming on quite nicely under the other one. I've got carrots sown in this bed here, but nothing coming up. Um, I've got some Jerusalem artichokes uh, just over there, which again, not coming up yet. And I've got some shallots coming through in this bed here. So everything's kind of ready to get in ready to um, start planting and sowing. We've got to say lots of stuff in the greenhouse, almost ready to come out. We're just waiting for the weather to stabilize a bit. It uh, has been fairly chilly at night still. We've had a couple of frosts recently as well, so uh, don't want to put too much out just yet. So as I said, Sam's tackling the fruit cage, and as you can see, it is full of weed. It's been really neglected. Um, grass has just grown up, uh, so Sam's come in here to start to try and tackle it. Um, so yeah, it's made a good start. So uncovered the goose some of the gooseberry bushes, um, and then. Uh, basically just gonna work around the edge where the bushes are. I think there's a couple of dead ones in there so they can come out and then we'll decide what to do. Probably get in here with a mower actually, cut down the middle and then uh, some cardboard and bark just to suppress the weeds coming through. So we're just going through into pen three. Um, 
and this is where I'm going to put the poly tunnel. So I swing round. Here it is. I was going to film me putting it up, but I didn't think you'd want to hear me swearing and shouting and generally getting in a strop with all the bits that didn't fit together. So uh, I've made a start. Um, it's going to go in this general position. Uh, it's difficult to know exactly where it's going to go until it's sort of fully together. But uh, the first couple of sections are together. And actually, it's going together pretty easily. Um, this bed here, just behind it, I'm going to put some potatoes in here. They should have started going in yesterday as part of our traditional Good Friday uh, potato planting, but things just ran away with us. So I'm going to do it uh, tomorrow now on Easter Sunday. Well, it's about seven o'clock in the evening now and I'm about to call it a night. We're going to uh, game of football, get the campfire lit and uh, start our evening of sort of camping. We camped last night, it was really, really cold. Um, it's cleared out a bit now, so I'm guessing it's going to be quite chilly tonight. But uh, we'll layer up, get the fire um, stoked up and uh, we'll be off. But more importantly, I've finished the frame for the fruit cage. So here it is. Uh, we've had a think and we're going to move it from here. It doesn't quite fit in this area. Uh, it's a little bit bigger than we thought. So we're going to move it into pen two. So we're going to cut the grass down tomorrow um, and move it. So what I need, need to do is dig the, um, the cover, the bottom of the cover into the ground. So it just helps to keep it all together. I'm going to get some ground anchors for the bottom, for the base, so they don't come out. But it is quite heavy. So uh, I'm hoping that it's not going to come a, come a cropper in the wind. But it does get quite windy down this part of the garden. So yeah, really chuffed with that. And uh, going to um, hopefully fill it up with lots of nice plants, get some stuff growing in here. Just gives another growing space this time of year. Get uh, some of the plants out of the, the cooler weather. And just keeps them sheltered. So we'll check back in tomorrow and we'll put the cover on, we'll move it. So uh, yeah, it should be good. So I'm just going to sign off this evening with the view across the fields. I mean, it's really, really beautiful, actually. It's really quiet. The birds are tweeting. They're now going to bed. The sky is now clearing. It's gone quite blue. The sun's now dipping down below the trees. So uh, here we go. So we've just got the uh, the fire lit, the campfire's going. So we're now going to uh, have a game of football. Yeah, Ria lit the fire, um, took a two matches. So we did a bit of practice there, but uh, all good. So the fire is going, that's the best part of camp. Here we are, sat around the campfire. It's now about eight o'clock in the evening. Uh, it's a really beautiful evening. It's quite, uh, not that cold, although it looks like it might have the potential to be cold. The sky is cleared. Um, I do apologize, I keep squinting. The smoke from the fire tonight is blowing straight at me. It's making my eyes sting. But uh, let's have a look, see who's here. So we've got Sam. Hello. We've got Jacob. <laughs> and let me come back to the fire. There's the fire. And we've got a little wood pile. And then we have Rhea. Hi. And then behind Rhea, we have our tent. And as you can see, the, uh, the sky, the beautiful sky, the trees. Good morning everyone and uh, happy Easter. It's Easter Sunday today. Um, the Easter Bunny has been, 
and uh, Jacob and Rhea are now completely fully laden with uh, chocolate and uh, Easter eggs. It's a beautiful morning out here. The sky is blue, it's warm, um, the birds are singing. It's, oh, it's a delight. It's absolutely amazing morning. Um, so we've got to make the most of it because the weather turns tomorrow. And so for the rest of uh, the week off, I've got, uh, it's meant to rain. So I'm um, going to make the most of being outside today. We've got quite a lot of jobs to do. Um, got to, we're going to move the polytunnel. Um, we're going to pop it on just on the other side of the fence. So uh, it's in the other pen. There's a bit more space there, like I said uh, yesterday. Uh, I've got some potatoes to plant. So in the bed down here, I don't know if you can see the cameras, what the camera's doing, but uh, I'll put some potatoes in here. I've got two rows sort of already dug out, ready to put them in. Um, and Jacob and Rhea are going to do those. Um, what else have we got to do today? Sam's going to carry on with the fruit cage. So she managed to get half of the fruit cage we did yesterday. So we're really good crack on with that. And I'm really, really chuffed with how that's turned out. And really just generally lots of other tidying up. It's, uh, I say, it's a beautiful day. It's, um, it's warm, it's sunny. So I literally just spend all day out here. So this is where the potatoes are going to go. So this was the pumpkin and squash bed last year with a lot of problems with rats. And uh, so um, I've decided not to put pumpkins and squash in this year. So I'm going to try the potatoes and see what happens. I'm also going to plant a row of radish um, in the middle between the two rows, just to kind of give something to uh, the, the bed isn't completely bare for, for a little while. So as you can see, blue skies, a view across the fields behind the, uh, the market garden. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a stunning day. Excuse last night's beer can. Um, I'll just come through, I'll show you what uh, Sam got up to yesterday. So the fruit cage was a complete mess, um, but she has managed, I can't actually see because the sun's on, on it, on the camera screen. So she's managed to um, weed this side. So the gooseberry bushes that are in there are looking good. There are a couple of bushes at the back which um, have gone. I think they're the chuckleberry bushes. They've been pulled out. So uh, she's done this entire side, which is brilliant. Uh, I think she's going to focus on this side today. Get this all weeded. There's some current bushes in here. And then the middle here, I think I'm just going to cut the grass down to the bottom for now. Cut it down as short as I can get it. And then um, I'm going to put some cardboard down and then some bark over the top. As I said earlier, we're going to um, plant potatoes. Well, I'm not, but Jacob and Rhea are. So um, why do we plant potatoes this time of year? What, what's special about it? Um, every year we plant potatoes because our great granddad um, died and he loved planting potatoes on this day called Good Friday. Well, it's not Good Friday today. We, we didn't get the chance on Good Friday, did we? But it's Easter Sunday today. So we're going to do it today instead of Good Friday. Yeah. So um, what do we do, Jacob, while we're doing the potatoes? Think of great granddad. We do, yeah, just yeah. get a little thought um, while we're doing it. Okay. So this is a variety called Home Guard. And again, this has a bit of a family significance because uh, my other granddad, um, which they these two never met, was in the Home Guard uh, during the Second World War. So I saw these at a garden centre and thought that was uh, an appropriate variety of potato. Okay, so how many have we got in here? One, two, seven. Eleven. Eleven home guard. We'll put those in here. And then we put the others back in the egg box. So this is a variety called Desiri. So these are a really good uh, crop. Red potatoes. 
produce loads of uh, potatoes off these uh, seeds. So we've got two rows of spuds in here and then I'll put some more in containers um, and I'll see what other space I have around the garden, the market garden to put some more in. Okay, so how many potatoes we got in here? Um, just gotta look at the dog. The dog seems to be going. So we've got 11 in the first row and 10 in the other row? Yep. Perfect. Right, so Jacob, do you wanna start filling, just pushing over the top? and bring it over from the other side as well. That's it. So this is a no dig potato bed. So uh, what I'm gonna do with this, so I've got some hay from a, a neighbor and uh, once the kids have brought it up from out front, I shall be mulching over the top with some hay as well. And then we should just build up with the hay as the time goes on. That's it, nice and gently so you don't knock the shoots off. And because it's no dig, we haven't got to root around for um, the potatoes too deeply. They'll grow fairly close to the surface as long as we keep mulching them, they won't go green. Uh, well, today's the day that we are going to plant the peas. So I don't know if you remember from a few, oh, a couple of videos ago, a few videos ago, that I sowed some peas trying to use the gutter method. Well, they've all come up. They've actually got a bit, look a bit sad because they need some water. So um, today's the day that they're going to be planted into the ground. So I've created a, a small trench down here. Um, and then basically Jacob and I are gonna just hopefully just push them out and then just kind of firm them in and that'll be it. Right, let's go. So if you, can we just lift it into the thing. So I'm gonna tip it your way. And hopefully we're just, Push. I'm going to see. I'm going to just try and loosen it a bit. Yeah. I just try and just push it so it comes away from the. That's it. If you try and that's it. You try. That's it. That's it. Don't put it too far down. And there we go. Peas planted using the gutter method. So polytunnel's been moved, that's its final position. So really chuffed with that. Nice size, cut the grass in there. And what I will do is I'll put cardboard in there and then at some point I shall work out how I'm gonna grow stuff. So come through, I've got I'm probably grass cutting in here today, some strimming. So this is the uh, the potato bed. So these are the potatoes that uh, Jacob and Ria sowed this morning. And as you can see, I've just covered them with a, a hay mulch. So as the potatoes come through, they'll grow through there. And instead of earthing them up with earth, we'll uh, put more hay on. And when it's time to harvest, you just pull the hay back and the potatoes should just literally just be underneath the, the hay. That's the theory anyway. So Sam's now finished the fruit cage. I'm just gonna run in here with the mower in a bit. Um, but she's now mulched the uh, the beds and they look brilliant, absolutely fantastic job. Um, yeah, really chuffed with that. We're just gonna do something with the grass. So I'm just gonna cut this down and run in here with the mower in a moment. Mow it down and uh, cover it with some cardboard or weed suppressant or something and then just cover it in bark for the time being, just to keep the grass and the weeds down. But yeah, really chuffed with that. 
really chuffed with the way that looks and uh, just have to keep it weeded now okay that's it guys i'm going to sign off now it's been a bit of a strange video really um i recorded a whole load of stuff but uh, it didn't come out because i'd set the wrong setting on the camera etc 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 so uh done a bit of filming over this weekend easter weekend um so hopefully i can put something together but uh, again, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks ever so much for your support. Some of the videos have really racked up the views. The subscribers have gone up. So uh, really appreciate the, uh, the support. So please do like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, do th check out Instagram. I'll be putting more and more things on Instagram as the, uh, the weather improves. I can get out and do some more stuff. But thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. And uh, I'll catch you guys soon. Bye-bye for now.